Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk helmets, mainly adventure helmets. Why is everyone wearing these things now? I mean, what's the real deal with these helmets? What what's so makes them so popular? I don't know. For the last year or so, I've been using this showy and I absolutely love it. But everywhere I turn around, at least South Texas, everyone's wearing these things. So I was getting ready for a, a, an off-road ride last year. I decided to give one of these things a shot. I mean, this is a very entry-level helmet. Uh, I paid under $200 for it. So I thought, eh, if I drop it, scratch it, or whatever the case may be, I won't cry like it is if it's my my seven or eight hundred dollar Neotech, whatever I paid for this thing. I don't know. Great helmet. So I bought this thing, and it was it was I think it was under two hundred dollars complete. So what's the deal with them? Well, I'll tell you. Number one, they flow a lot of air, a lot of air. I'm in South Texas. I'm in San Antonio. We're like 150 miles from the sun. You have not yet experienced heat unless you come to San Antonio. So throw that lid on your on your head there and go ride around. And then throw that one on there. Big difference, big difference. The second biggest thing is the field of vision that you have in this helmet seems huge compared to this one. I'm not saying this is restrictive, this is normal. This is abnormal, but it's great. You can see everything. This helmet, I can't really wear sunglasses. I put them in and just the way my, my melon is up here, you know, in the helmet, I can't wear sunglasses. It pushes down. I just can't do it. I get a headache. So I tried sunglasses with this one. Maybe it's a little small and it pinches my head. So I, I don't know. The helmet feels okay, but sunglasses don't work. So now I'm stuck with a clear shield, no sunglasses, and a huge field of vision. That was a problem. So I went looking and I found a transitional lens for it. Wow, what a difference. This thing goes from clear to nice dark when the sun comes out. Game changer. I want this to have that. So flows more air, got better field of vision, looks cool. What's not to like about them, right? Price point that's really good. But what's wrong with it? I put this helmet on, fits like a glove. It's like a pillow surrounding my head. Man, it's one of the most comfortable helmets I've ever worn. I put this one on, it touches in about five or six spots and feels kind of weird. I don't get that all warm and fuzzy feeling. So I'm in the market. I'm in the market to combine these two helmets and just have one helmet. So I'm, I've narrowed my search down to two helmets, either the Klein Creos Pro or the Shoei Hornet X2, I think they call it. Now, Arai makes the XD4, really like that helmet, hand-built, great helmet, but they don't sell a transitional shield. Uh, I heard a rumor, someone said they don't think it's safe. So I scratch it off because it's a game changer for me. I'm just telling you, it's a game changer. So it's down between those two, and they're both about the same money, and that's what I think I, I, I need. So I'm looking for some help here. Um, I know what I get out of the showy. I get this, man, and this is a great helmet. One of the complaints I hear is it has a small opening and putting it on and taking it off is almost painful. So, um, I don't know. Uh, the other thing is, have you tried to buy a helmet lately or any motorcycle related stuff? It's hard to find this stuff. So, I, I've been searching online. Maybe I've got a lead on a climb. Maybe, but I got to do it pretty quick. So I'm not uh, I'm not into dumping 750 bucks on a whim. Uh, I got I got to research and make my my own best personal choice. But these adventure helmets, I, I think there's something to them. Um, they don't just look cool. There's something to them. I will say my friend who rides nearly the same bike, same helmet. He always takes his visor off on the interstate because he says it, you know, pulls on his head. Um, I'm 6'1", and it, it doesn't bother me. Um, I rode just at 1,100 miles home from, from my father's house after the Arizona BDR to here in San Antonio, and, and I rode 85 miles an hour. Never really bothered me. 
I mean, you hit the crosswinds, everything blows, right? And sometimes you can see the, the visor blowing, so you know it's blowing good, but it didn't bother me. The weight of the helmet, I don't know what this thing weighs. I don't know. Um, doesn't bother me. I, I don't consider weights of helmets. It's, it is what it is, right? I hear the climb is super, super light, though. Super light. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't checked out an adventure helmet, I think they're worth your money. Um, I went cheap as I could to see if it was something that I liked, see if it was worth it, because this has been a great, great helmet. And uh, I, I don't know, I'd have a hard time giving it up and getting rid of it, because it is a great helmet for me. But this thing with the field of vision that I have with it, man, it, it's there's something to that. If I could get transitional shield for this helmet, I'd probably be okay there. But I don't use the, the flip up part of the modular anymore. That doesn't work for me. Um, when you're two up, it's different. Uh, I, I guess for, for me, it was different. My wife barely rides this thing with me. Um, says it's not a Harley, so it is what it is. So I'm, I'm in the market. So I'm, I'm thinking either climb or the showy Hornet. Um, let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Uh, I would really appreciate some feedback. If anyone's ridden with a, a climb, let me know. Hope you get something out of this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. Keep an eye on the next video coming up. Um, I'm sure I'm going to purchase one here probably soon. And I've got some more stuff coming. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Be safe.